What's going on guys? We're back here today with another fantasy basketball mock draft. Today we have the sixth pick in a 12 team points league. Before we get into the video, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, especially if this video helped you out. So Jokic went first, Giannis second, Luka third, Embiid fourth, and LeBron fifth. We got KD last time. I do want to switch it up. I'm going to grab Tatum here. Uh, I think Harden will be available later on. I think LaMelo is also a great pick here. Uh, Trey Young, also Ja as well. A lot of, I don't think you could go wrong in the first round, but it's just depending on who you want to build around. So let's see how the team looks when we build around Jason Tatum. There goes LaMelo, Ja, Curry, KD, Trey Young, Cat, Bradley Beal, Harden, Zion, D-Book, Damian Lillard, and Tyrese Halliburton. So bonus is a great pick here. AD is here. I think we cannot pass up on AD here. I know he's injury riddled, does miss some time here and there. However, he's definitely going to bounce back this year. Definitely he's looking to bounce back this year. Um, and his just production when he does play is amazing. Really hard to pass that up. Other players that I see doing really well, Bam, Sabonis, obviously, Paul George, Kyrie, Siakam. But we're going to grab AD here. There goes Sabonis, Siakam, Vucevic, DeRozan, Paul George, Shea, Bam, Randall, Donovan Mitchell, and Kyrie Irving. So we could grab Rudy Gobert here, a uh, really solid player fantasy-wise. I do think his rebounds might go down a little bit. His, he did a really well last year, 17 points a game, I think, almost. So there is going to be some regression for Gobert. De'Aaron Fox is a really good pickup. Garland as well. Um, I think I like Fox over Garland this year just because Garland's team is so stacked. I also really like Cade Cunningham this year. I think he's in line for a huge step up. DeJounte Murray is definitely going to see regression playing next to uh, Trey Young. So let's grab De'Aaron Fox. I think he is a very solid pickup. Projected 41.3 fantasy points a game. Let's go ahead and take him. There goes DeJounte Murray, Anthony Edwards, Cade Cunningham, Rudy Gobert, Kawhi Leonard, Van Fleet, Jimmy Butler, Darius Garland, Porzingis, Evan Mobley, DeAndre Ayn, and Jonas Valanciunas. Jalen Brown's here. Would love to grab him if we didn't have Tatum. Holiday's a nice selection here as well. There's Zach Levine. Great pickup as well. Looking down, there's also Terry Rozier I like as well. Um, looking at our team, we do have point guard, small forward, power forward. So we could grab someone like Drew Holiday next to Bucks. I feel like the Bucks are really top heavy with Giannis, Middleton, and Holiday. And I think after those guys, it really, really falls off in terms of talent. Let's go ahead. Let's grab Holiday. There goes Jalen Brown, Chris Paul, Westbrook. Pretty high up, but I do think he's in line for a better season than last year. Terry Rozier, Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum, Scotty Barnes, Clint Capella, Zach Levine, and Chris Middleton. Now, we have a couple of choices here. Jared Allen is probably the best one available. Jalen Brunson is also available. Yaka Pottle as well. Giddy, who I really love, but will, he will likely be available later on. I want to go Jared Allen. I want to lock up some centers early on just because it's so tough to get them later on, uh, especially in points leagues and categories. Well, I guess that's most leagues, especially in most leagues because they go really, really fast. And I do think Jared Allen might have a decline in points. However, there's also the argument that with Garland and Donovan Mitchell really finding him open a lot more often, I think he could be in line for a huge year as well. So let's go Jared Allen. Moving on, there goes Pottle, Sangoon, Miles Turner, Christian Wood, John Collins, Tobias Harris, Yusuf Nurkic, Bobby Portis, Jamal Murray, Draymond Green, Robert Williams, and Wendell Carter. And we do have Kellen Johnson available still. Ben Simmons, great pickup for us. Josh Giddy also available still. Uh, so maybe we could go ahead. We go ahead and grab like Ben Simmons and Josh Giddy back to back, hopefully. Um, I wish Ben Simmons could play power forward as well, but he's stuck at only shooting guard. He seems to be like the best pickup for me at this point. Paolo Benchero is someone that I never got the chance to draft. The rookie uh, should be the number, the guy in in the Magic. But let's go Ben Simmons. I'd give him the edge a little bit over Giddy just because of the potential assists that Ben Simmons can get next to Kyrie and KD. And also defensively is just a beast, so... Let's go Ben Simmons. There's Jaron Jackson Jr., Zubak, Michael Porter, Steven Adams, Al Horford, Marvin Bagley, PJ Washington, Colin Sexton, Jalen Smith, and Brandon Clark. So luckily for us, Josh Giddy did fall to us. Uh, I do like him a lot. I am going to have to pass up on players like Jalen Brunson and Kelvin Johnson to get him. 
but I think Josh Giddey is just so versatile. If he could score a couple more points a game, he's going to be really, really valuable. So let's go Giddy. There he goes, Mitchell Robinson, Desmond Bain, Chris Boucher, Pokosevsky, Paolo Benchero, Jeremy Grant, RJ Barrett, Drummond, Rashawn Holmes, Wiggs, Clay, and Wiseman. Three Warriors back to back to back. Now, I see D'Lo here. I, he often falls a couple times. Jalen Brunson, I've actually never gotten the chance to see uh, this far in the draft, but I think he might fall as well. Keldon Johnson, however, is someone that I don't think will fall into the next round. Um, Jalen Green, I've seen fall a lot. Kuzma as well. Bay, kinda. I think looking at our roster, we do now have a good amount of point guards and guards really filling up our guard rotation to kind of work on our wings. And for that reason, I really want Keldon Johnson. And again, I really think he's gonna have a huge year in uh, the Spurs being the number one guy. And there goes Nick Claxton, Isaiah Stewart, Montrezl Harrell, Kelly Olenek, Mo Bamba, Thomas Bryant, JaVale McGee, Karis LeVert, Onyeka Kongu, and Isaiah Hardenstein. So now we do have the choice between Brunson and D'Lo. Um, other players that I see, OGs available. Still, that could also help us. Sadiq Bey, uh, Kuz. So we do have some options. I've never had the opportunity to draft Jalen Brunson so far. So let's grab him. Um, being a New York Nick guy, being a New York guy. I, I want to have a Nick on my team. Doesn't hurt. And I do think he's in line next to RJ Barrett. Could have a really good year. The Knicks paid him. And I really think Brunson in the playoffs last year did amazing. And I think he's ready to carry that over to the Knicks. So let's grab Brunson. There goes Kuzma, Jordan Poole, Buddy Heald, Brogdon, Kevin Love, Jalen Duran, Walker Kessler, Brooke Lopez, Lonzo Ball, Kuminga, Keegan Murray, and Sadiq Bey. D'Lo is still there. I saw really, really good pickup. OG, another player we could grab in a bit. Uh, looking at our roster, though, we're pretty stacked on point guards, though. But am I really going to be able to pass up on D'Lo again? It's so hard. He really... A lot of the guards fall just because the, so many teams want to grab their big men. And it really lets you steal some value in the middle rounds. I'm going to pick up D'Lo here. Hopefully someone like OG makes it to the next round. Or even um, even Franz Wagner. I think he might have went already though. No, nope, he's here. Franz Wagner is someone I like as well. Let's grab D'Lo. There goes OG right after us. Jalen Green, Thad Young, Jabari Smith, Marcus Morris, Anthony Simmons, Franz Wagner, Kyle Lowry, Tyrese Maxey, and Tyler Hero. We could grab um, Devin Vassell's here, Kevin Porter Jr., Marcus Smart, Gary Trent, uh, Jalen Suggs, Dylan Brooks, I see. Spencer Dinwiddie, we grab him. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab a forward here. I know we're gonna have to pass up on KPJ, Spencer Dinwiddie, Gary Trent, Marcus Smart, but Mikhail Bridges, small forward. He may even be the starting power forward. Well, I guess he could be the power forward because Cam Johnson's there. He really could be either or. And if they really give him that power forward, small forward designation, I think Mikhail Bridges could be a great pickup for us. There goes Kevin Porter, Laurie Markinen, Devin Vassell, Marcus Smart, Spencer Dinwiddie, Campbell Walker, Norman Powell, Gary Trent, Jalen Suggs, Josh Hart, Dylan Brooks, and Trey Jones. Looking at our suggestions, Monte Morris, a really good one here. Mike Conley, too many questions about his, um, his of him being traded, so I'm, I'm not too high on drafting him. He may end up on a team where he ends up being the backup point guard or doesn't see a lot of minutes really hurting his value. As of right now, if he stays in Utah, he will have great value. Um, Aaron Gordon's here, Oubre, Jordan Clarkson, Jaden Ivey, Harrison Barnes. I think I'm going to grab Monte Morris here, starting next to Porzingis and Bradley Beal. Should give him an opportunity to score a lot of buckets. But we also oh, we have AD, yeah. Starting next to um, Beal, Porzingis, I really like his fantasy value for the season. Same thing with Cole Anthony. I think Franz Wagner taking the next step. Wendell Carter being there and Paolo Banchero. Uh, Cole Anthony can see himself grabbing a lot more assists, him and Jalen Suggs. But let's go Monte Morris. There goes Mike Conley, Cole Anthony, Derek White, Oubre, John Wall, Devontae Graham, Aaron Gordon, Gordon Hayward, Harrison Barnes, and Bogdan Bogdanovich. Couple options here. I like Dort just because he can play small forward as well. I like Darius Baisley, especially since uh, Chet Holmgren is out for the season. Projected 24 points a game. Uh, Dort projected about 26. 
Duarte. I'm not even sure if he's going to start. If he does start over Benedict Matherin, he could be a solid pickup as well. Jay Sean Tate, another great pickup. However, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab myself. Let's go. Don't want Dort or Basley. Let's go. Uh, let's go Dort. I think he's going to have the better year playing next to Giddy and Shea. So there goes Jaden Ivey, Herb Jones, Jordan Clarkson, Evan Fournier, Malik Beasley, and Dennis Schroeder. Got to be on this draft. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, Holiday, Ben Simmons, Tatum, AD, Kellen Johnson, Jared Allen, Josh Giddy, Jalen Brunson, D'Lo, Mikhail Bridges, Monte Morris, and Lugan Dortz make up our lineup. Got to be overall. Uh, yeah, I think it's not the greatest. I think it's pretty solid. I definitely think we could have done better. Um, OG would have really helped us out over D'Lo. Uh, we could have grabbed someone like Laurie instead of Mikhail Bridges. Uh, we could have grabbed, obviously, Gordon Hayward, but I'm still worried about his injuries, so I'm fine grabbing Monte Morris there. Do like Josh Giddy a lot. Do like Kellen Johnson a lot. We could have grabbed someone. No, I'm fine grabbing Jalen Brunson over these guys as well. It just happened, unfortunately, that we kind of fumbled a bag a little bit later on with our last three picks. Uh do think we missed out on some solid pickups here. It's fine. I think uh, our team is definitely very top heavy with Tatum, AD, De'Aaron Fox, Jared Allen, Drew Holiday. I think they can help us throughout. And with Ben Simmons and Josh Giddy being very versatile, they could really, really carry us as well. And Kellen Johnson, I really expect him to take a huge leap this year. And Jalen Brunson as well. Even with a pretty solid team, not amazing, I think we are very, very competitive. But that's all for this video. Please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, especially if this video helped you out. And I'll see you next time.